Hello, this is our newest LCD screen tester. It's called LSTO3. This is uh, the one you see on the video is a package we call it LSTO3 uh, Industrial, which just means that it comes with five of the most common wire using on the we can test the industrial display um, from um, you know 10.4 inch up to a uh, speed as uh, 26 inch. It does including five wires. I just say five cable wire harness. I mean screen wire harness. And then four of the MS uh, 321 uh, EXT extension uh, backlight lamp uh, wire harness and one AC adapters. So for this package, you can you can cover most of the industrial displays. Okay. So next section, we're gonna show you how to test the industrial display. The LCD screen we're gonna test is called it's made by AUO. The screen part number is M one five zero XN zero seven version two. It's a really popular screen. So and get a screen number and go to a uh, tester LC screen, and uh, you're gonna scroll down, go to LSTO three. You're gonna go to uh, look for here we go LSTO three cross reference table. It is if this is the first time you visit this uh, page, and please bookmark it for future use. So AUO, all right. So scroll down, try to find M one five zero. There's total three pages. Let's go to page three. Uh, nope, it's gonna be must be. An, so M M M. Here we go. Here we go. M one five zero S N zero seven dash two M M version two. The screen wire harness we should use is the D F fourteen dash twenty P dash one L V D S. Resolution ten twenty four by seven sixty A. The B plus three point three. The dip switch should be four on. That's it. We are ready to test the screen. Hello. We have just obtained all the setup parameters to test a uh, AUO M one five zero S N zero seven version two uh, display. Uh, the setup of uh, uh, that cross table tells us that we first we need to use this cable which is uh, DF1420P-1 LVDS cable and will be 3.3 volts the jumper will be 4 on 3.3 jumper 4 on you connect the right here and then we need to connect to a um, 15 inch display. Here's AUO display. Um, you know, the original AUO, they have a, um, a little bit wider connector than uh, what we have extension cable. So uh, you could use a wire adapter. We have wire adapter here. It's called, our part number is MS196EXT. Okay, it's available online. So you connect one end here, the other end. You can connect to any f two of these four, and then the other one here. Okay, so next video we're gonna show you using our simple uh, metal rack to hold the display while you oh, test it. I also want to show you how uh, we can uh, uh, you can build a custom uh, a rack to uh, you know to test the display to hold the display. For example, this is the AUO one. Just hold it like this, then uh, like this, the backlight lamp, and then you can connect all this wire harness to it. It's quite simple, but it's pretty handy. If you need a dimension, then please send us a request to uh, tech support at lcdparts.net so I can uh, email to you the dimension. First, we're gonna hook it up here. You see this two wires, and can hook up to any of the two lamps, and. Um, all right, hook it up. So this one needs to make sure that di right directions. Oops. So you see this? Okay, this one set up, and then we're gonna apply VGA here. Signal and then connect the power. Turn it on. Now you see a pictures and uh, perfect. Let me show you again the setup. How the setup was set up. This is it. This work. 
setting for on now let's test another 19 inch display which is made by AUO the screen number is here we go it's asked M190EG01 okay so this one have uh, when you look up our online table it tells you that the resolution is 1280 by 1024 and we should use a, the cable it's called FIS 30S 2L VDS the B plus should be set on 5 volts and uh, and switch 16 on and S1 on switch 16 on so let's do a setting one six well one six on one six on five volts in the middle make sure be careful if you switch all the way to 12 volt you're gonna damage that screen make sure it's in the middle five volts and you connect this cable right to it okay as you're on pull it down as you're on okay now let's use this test rod again, it's quite convenient. We're gonna lay it down here, lay it down here. Okay. Let's do the setting here. Let's connect all these cables. How to test LCD screens? How to see those vertical lines? Uh, we have created a, a page, a special page to uh, specify for you to test LC screen. Come to our site, lcdpass.net, and here, tech support, click tech support. And the first one, you see how to test LC screen, and click here. Uh, before we can show you a, the color pattern, then we have to understand what is a common problem on LCD screens. Uh, the common problem would be like vertical line, horizontal line, color uniformity, partial mark, and depth pixels. So if you click this white uh, red background page, and then you can you know max get the full page by by pressing F11. Uh, basically, you're going to see the white display. I mean, uh, red, red and green and blue, three principal colors. By changing the different color background, you can see the vertical lines. Of course, you're going to see the horizontal line. If there's a problem with the screen. And also, especially on, on red background, you're gonna see the pressure marks like this one has a little pressure marks, and and other two is white and black. This is also on the white screen. You can also see some pressure marks, and but this two background page is uh, for a, you to identify the dead pixels because some pixels when you bring the screen fully black, you're gonna see it's light up. That's a dead pixel. And goes out of end, and when you get a full black screen, you see some pixels never turn on. It's black. That's a type pixel. Uh, by this, see, you, you just look at it by changing a simple uh, different color back screen background, you're gonna see all the problems on the LC screen if the LC screen has problem. So um, that's it. Thank you. Here we go. It looks good. So again, here's the setup. Here's a rack. Metal rack. It's pretty convenient. It's two little line. Jumper, 